Hi, in this video we're going to do a word problem uh, concerning a linear function. So uh, here is an example of a linear function uh, that's described in the textbook. It comes from a real example. Uh, it comes from, here's the reference, the World Watch Institute, Norton and Company. Uh, here's the data that it was collected. World grain production was 1,240 million tons in 1975 and 2,048 million tons in 2005 and has been increasing at an approximately constant rate. Okay, so here is the key thing, the constant rate. So that means we're talking about a linear function. Okay, we'll sort of ignore the approximately business. So it's no surprise that the first question is asking us to find a formula for the world grain production and let's find that formula. How do we do that? Well we're going to use the point slope formula uh, and to do that we're going to need to find the slope and another point. So in order to find the slope we need to find two points. In particular we can make a little table here of values Uh, so if we have uh, million tons uh, grain, grain production, that's going to be our um, dependent variable. And the independent variable is the time. And this is years after 1975. So I'll make a little table here. Years after 1975, well, what do I know? In 1975, that's zero years after 1975, there was 1,241 million tons of grain produced. Uh, the second piece of data is that in 2005, well, that is tw uh, 30 years, 30 years because 2005 minus 1975 is 30. That's 30 years after 1975. In, in that year, 2048 millions of tons of grain are produced. So this gives me a little table. It gives me um, some values with which to complete this, compute the slope. So the slope is going to be the difference in the y values. So in this case, 2048 minus 1241 divided by the difference in the x values, which in this case is 30 minus 0. So that's going to be uh, 807 divided by 30. And then we can do a little scratch work, or you can use your calculator to figure out what 30 into 807 is. It goes uh, two times, giving you 60, and then 6, and then uh, you'll have 207, which goes uh, six times, and then you have 180, and then you'll have 27, and then that goes nine times. So you should get 26.9 as the slope. Okay, so that's the slope. And now all we need is a point. So f of x is going to be equal to the slope, which is 26.9, times x minus x1. Well, I'm going to use x1 to be the 0, in which case f of x1 is 1241. So it's going to be x minus 0 plus the y value, the f of x1, which is going to be 1241. Or simply, this is 26.9x plus 1241. 1241. Okay, so uh, that's our f of x. That's the answer to part a. We have found a formula for this function. Now let's move on to the others, but let's keep track of, of what we've done so far. That's our formula. Okay, so that's part a. Now part b. Part b is asking using units interpret the slope in terms of the grain, terms of grain production. The slope indicates the rate of increase in the grain production. 
That's what it is. It, this constant rate that we discussed here is the slope. So the grain production increases at a constant rate. of 26.9 million tons per year. Okay, and we can think of this in terms of units. The slope is 26.9, and then the units are a million tons, if you like. Per means divide, year. So that's the units there. Okay, so that's the answer to B. Now let's move on to C. Using units, interpret the vertical intercept in terms of grain production. So the vertical intercept, we actually already looked at. It's uh, 1, 2, 4, 1. And so it, what it means is that zero years after 1975, the zero corresponds to the fact we're looking at the vertical intercept. Um, one, two, four, one million tons of grain were produced. So that's the answer to part C. And the million tons is the important part of the using the units part. Now, D, according to linear model, what, what model, what is the predicted world grain production in 2015? Okay, so uh, now this is where we can use our formula from part A. We can actually just try to plug that in. So now we look at F of, well, the year that corresponds to 2015. Now, 2015 is 10 years after 2005. Remember, 2005 correspond to 30 years after 1975. So 2015 is an additional 10 years after this number. So we really want to plug in 40. 2015 corresponds to 40 years after 1975. Don't plug in 2015 because you'll get some crazy answer. You have to plug in the correct normalization. In this case, it's 40. So we plug it into our formula, we get 26.9 times 40 plus 1241. So now you plug this into your calculator and you get your answer. So that'll be the answer to D. Now for E, when is grain production predicted to reach 2,500 million tons? This is a whole little bit different. F of X represents grain production. So we want f of x to be 2,500. So instead of plugging into the function, we look for an output value of 2,500. And in this case, what we're asked to do is figure out what's the time, the x or the t, so that this is true. And so now we just have to solve for x. So we subtract uh, 1241 from both sides. That gets us 26.9 times x. And now I'll divide both sides by 26.9. And that'll just leave us with x. So x, this is the time, this is the number of years past 1975 when uh, get to production of 2,500 million tons of grain. Okay, so this was an example of one of the word problems involving linear functions.